This is ultimate kickball. First we need our bases, then we need a fielding line, and then a pin zone. In the middle of the pin zone will be a bowling pin. As a kicker, your goal is to kick the ball and run around the bases to score a point. The fielding team wants to stop you or get you out. They can get you out by catching your ball in the air or by knocking over the pin when you're off of a base. As a base runner, each time you reach a base, you have a decision to make. Can you reach the next base before they knock down the pin? Or should you stay put? What happens if the next base runner ends up on the same base as you? Nothing. There is no limit to the number of base runners allowed on a single base. The fielding team has two special rules. The first is no traveling. They have to throw the ball from where they pick it up. The second special rule is they cannot make a play on the pin from inside the pin zone. You can run in the pin zone to get the ball, but you have to get the ball out of the pin zone in order to attack the pin. If a fielder travels or attacks the pin from inside the pin zone, all base runners are safe and will be awarded an extra base. Most of the time, the play ends when the pin is knocked down. But if all the base runners have stopped and won't be running, you can just throw the ball to the next kicker instead and keep the game moving along quickly. Base runners need to wait until the ball is kicked again before they can run. But what about that fielding line? It's important for both teams. The fielding team can't start a play in front of the line. And the kicking team has to kick beyond that line. If they don't kick past the fielding line, the kicker and all of the base runners are out. 